What are you doing? How did we get to this point? Let's back up a little bit. Hey. It's black. Planting basil. Um, I got just regular sweet basil and then bush spicy glow basil. I really like this type of basil. It just makes like a little little bunch of stuff. You know, I wanted to do like a basil garden at one time where I just do like all different types of basil. Still haven't done that. Still on the to-do list. So I wish I could leave these outside. As you can see, there's a beautiful day out today, but um, it's not gonna stay that way. So we're gonna take them inside and put them under the lights. Did you hear that? Somebody left the garage door open. I knew I heard you in here. What are you doing in here? Excuse me. So let's check and see if they're still laying eggs inside the shed as well. I mean, like why? Why? Why are chickens so ridiculous? They're just ridiculous. Like they have the nicest, most soft place to lay eggs, but they want to lay eggs in like a totally messed up hard place. It makes no sense. Chickens make no sense. What do you want to do today? What do you, I mean, we just sit and drink coffee, but what do you want to do? Do you think any of the potatoes have come up yet? grass has started growing. That's not exciting. Okay, I have an idea. Let's talk fancy daffs. I'm sure I've shown you the daffodils before. I used to hate daffodils. I thought they were ugly and gaudy and just weird just because I'd only ever seen the one type of daffodil. Like if you think of daffodil, like the picture that pops up in your head, that is what I knew. That is not that is not what daffodils are. Hang on, this wind is awful. We have to try to fix like the wind problem. Okay, so people who have like big microphones sometimes put this big like puffy thing on it and that helps with the wind. So I'll show you what we're gonna try, what we've done. So I don't know if you can see this, but I've, we've taped toilet paper to where the speakers are on the phone. Probably won't help, but it will make us look more ridiculous. This is how much I care about you guys. Anything about them other than like they sell flowers and the flowers grew. So that's where I got these. I don't think that my toilet paper wind protection system is working. So, so I'm gonna have to talk to you here and then we'll walk out there and I'll just kind of run out in between bursts of wind. But um, daffodils. I bought my daffodils from Eden Brothers, which I just found them online and they had what I wanted. They sell them in different like bundles. Like you can buy specific daffodils if there's something you specifically want, but they also sell like collections. So some of the collections that I was interested in were of course like the double daffodils. I don't know if that's the double. They're like ruffled, like, you know, so it's like fancy. It's the fancy daffs. Um, they also sell like the little tiny ones, which I love. I love anything tiny, tiny flowers, love them. And then, oh my gosh, brings me such happiness. They sell scented daffodils, like flowers that, cause a lot of times when we breed flowers, they're bred now to just be super beautiful to look at. And a lot of times we've bred out their fragrance. So they sell ones that smell amazing and part of the whole experience of flowers is smelling them for me. I love the smell of flowers. It makes me so happy. So I definitely got some of those. Looking really suspicious right now. What are you doing? Okay, let's hide behind this tree and hope that the wind is not terrible. Um, so one problem that I have noted with my daffodils is that they will sometimes flop over into the dirt. But that actually makes sense if you know what they come from. So daffodils are actually called Narcissus. And if you know the story of Narcissus, he ends up falling in love with his own reflection in a pool of water. So really they're just they're just keeping true to their namesake, like staring at themselves in in the mud. It's not good. 
I don't know what you want to do now, but I don't want to stay out this wind too much longer. You look ridiculous with toilet paper stuck to your ears. So, um, I know a place we can go that's like quiet where we can go hang out. Come on. Be careful. It's just like a great spot to sit and sit and think. So originally we were going to put like a deck up here. This is, we're going to finish the top of the barn and put a deck and it was going to be pretty awesome. Like eventually we might, but you know how it goes where you have like a bunch of projects and there's always more projects that you want to do. So it's here in case we ever decide to do it. But right now it's just kind of like a scary door. Kind of want to put like a zip line. I think that'd be cool. Like a zip line would also be really, really dangerous. But cool. Have ever what? And I'd break my legs. But you wouldn't. Are you okay? You look okay. I think you're okay. You're okay. Come on. Man, you're crazy. You're crazy. Come on. That was pretty cool though. That was pretty cool. Hey, I have to take the kids to the park, but maybe you should just like stay here and relax probably after that. Brought you some. Um. We'll be back. Feel better.